JB Good evening, waivers. And guess who's still brushing? It's your boy Mo Cab, aka Mo Better Waves. Okay, here tonight with another session of brushology. Okay, this is the evening session. Okay, so tonight we'll just be doing the comb and brush method. So we can move my camera around a little bit so we can see it better. Alright, how's that? Alright, so the comb and brush method. First thing you're gonna need to do is take off your do-rag, su-rag, whatever you got. I'm currently rocking the su-rag. I think it's more comfortable. A little bit more stylish too, actually, and change a lot of moisture. All right. This is what we're working with right now. It's kind of what it's looking like. Before we get to combing it out, let's, let's kind of see what it is. And from that shine you see, it's from the S7. It's holding the limited edition. I really love, I really love this product. Matter of fact, I might just use just a minimal amount. for this comb session. Yep, so it's called the comb and brush. I know I've talked about it before. But this is what I like to do when I'm beasting. You know what I'm saying? When I'm woofing. It definitely helps to manage my hair a lot better. So you want to comb with the grain of your pattern. Go around one more time. Make sure I got them all combed out evenly. So boom, that's your first uh, rotation around with the comb. Then you grab your soft brush. You see I'm combed out. So I'm gonna lay it down. Not a lot of compression here. Should I say a lot of pressure? I wanna apply a lot of pressure at this point. And pretty much what's happening, so when you're combing, it's lifting your hairs up, fixing your connections, helping you find your connections if you haven't found your connection. You know what I'm saying? Setting your pattern. And then you just lay it down with the soft brush, and that just saves the progress. It's just kind of like putting on your su rag or putting on your boo boo cap. You know what I'm saying? Or putting on your do-rag or whatever you got right now. So that's one rotation around, one set. So we're gonna go back here with the comb. And pretty much you can do this as many times as you want to. I mean, until you're satisfied, you know. I do it a lot because I understand the benefits of combing, especially when you're woofing. Like when I first started waving I didn't use the comb at all and when I got to like four weeks of woofing my hair was like 
really unmanageable. You know what I'm saying? Like really, really poofy and really tangled. It was just hard to hard to brush. And so I will always, you know, trim. And but right now I haven't had a trim, a lineup, or anything like that in eight weeks. So all two months, I consider myself six weeks whooping. I give myself two weeks to grow. After that, I'm whooping. So just comb, I'm gonna brush again. You see how easy my hair lays down after I comb it like that? Like, this area right here used to be a problem area for me prior to combing. Like, it was like really knotty and it was like, it's like a big bush right here. It's like a big old bush. And so one day I just started combing it. J Beast with Beats. And I detangled it. And I saw the waves were forming uh, better, with, you know, better connected. So from then on, I start brushing more. And that was just a demonstration, but when you do it, you wanna make sure you do your whole head. You wanna comb your whole head, and then brush your whole head, just like that. And then when you're done with your session, you know, you can do the rub down. A lot of people are doing the plastic bag. Sandwich bag, grocery bag method. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But truthfully, me, I just like using the sue rag method. So, show you how I sue at night. So at nighttime, I sue rag differently. Like during the day, I can wear a regular. You know what I'm saying? But at night, like say if I happen to doze off or fall asleep, this has a tendency to rise on me, so what I usually do is I grab my Google cap. Yeah, Google cap, right? Well, actually, doing it wrong. You want to, you want to strap it first. So I'm thinking about the do rag. You know, when you have the do rag on. With the Google cap, it's a lot easier and more convenient this way. So, bam. Mine, mine is kind of big, so I kind of flip it a couple of times. That's why I can get it much more I want it. And of course, I pull mine down a lot further than most people because I wanted to cover all that. I want all this to wave up. You know what I'm saying? I want waves all the way down to this hairline. A lot of times when I take off my suit rag or do rag, whatever, because it rises up a lot, sometimes this will be messed up. But with this boo boo underneath it, I'm tight and compressed. Yep, so hope you guys enjoyed the, the comb and brush method. You know, give it a try. Uh, let me know how it works for you. You know what I'm saying? Like this video, comment this video, and make sure you subscribe. It's your boy MoCab, AKA Mo Better Waves. And I'm still brushing. Peace.